Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll speak about cerebrosites. Our objectives are to know what is acute cerebrosites as regards the causes, diagnosis, and treatment. Also, chronic cerebrosites as regards causes, diagnosis, and treatment. Uh, acute cervicides, the etiology is the infective, gonorrhea, and the chlamydia, and non-infective like post-operative GNC or uh, cauterization. The symptoms uh, are mucobarulent vaginal discharge with uh, deeply seated pelvic pain with low back ache and dyspareunia. And the signs are uh, the cervix is swollen and red with tender cervical motion. And there is a mucobarulent discharge coming from the cervix. And the treatment is both spectrum antibiotic, analgesics, and antibiotic. Chronic cervicides, the etiology is non-specific, which occur on, on top of the acute cervicides, and specific, which is a, a, a chronic from the start, as TB cervicides and bilharzial cervicides. The diagnosis of chronic cervicides is uh, by vaginal discharge, the presence of pain, low back ache, dyspareunia, dysmenorrhea, the presence of bleeding, which is uh, menorrhagia due to pelvic congestion or contact bleeding, very specific also this contact bleeding, and infertility. Signs of chronic cervicides or pathological types of chronic cervicides, which can be seen by casco speculant, and this is a common question also. Uh, this uh, pathological type of chronic cervicides includes the mucoberlant endocervicitis, the chronic hypertrophic cervicides with spiral shaped cervix, a cervical ectopy, which is uh, cervical erosion, cervical ectropion with inversion of the cervical lip, and mucus polyp, the Poussian follic, and uh, chronic specific cervicides, which is very rare. Uh, the investigation. Uh, our bacteriological examination of the discharge and the colposcopy if uh, resisted uh, resistant case to exclude malignancy. The treatment uh, of chronic cervicides is medical treatment which uh, include a broad spectrum antibiotic, especially tetracycline uh, uh, for treating chlamydia infection and uh, we can give analgesia. Uh, we can do cauterization if the medical treatment fail. Rarely we need uh, surgical treatment like uh, tracheolography in case of ectropia, colonization or amputation in hypertrophied uh, elongated cervix. Cervical ectopy or erosion. Uh, the definition, it is red area around the external os covered by columnar epithelium. And it appears red because the columnar epithelium is thin, so it shows the underlying blood vessel. And the etiology of this uh, erosion or uh, ectopy is congenital, hormonal, or inflammatory. Congenital due to the pres uh, uh, persistence of columnar epithelium covering the portovaginalis, or hormonal, and it is uh, due to relative excess of estrogen as during pregnancy and uh, during the use of a confined oral contraception and inflammatory as type of chronic cervicides. The clinical types, we have a simple or flat erosion or babillary erosion with babillary formation or follicular erosion and diagnosis as chronic cervicides, the same symptoms, it is type of chronic cervicides. The treatment of uh, uh, cervical erosion, either no treatment if it is asymptomatic and it is the hormonal type because uh, this hormonal type during pregnancy and uh, after use of compared oral contraception will disappear spontaneously after uh, three to six months. And we can do a cauterization in symptomatic and inflammatory type. The aim of this cauterization is to destroy the infected epithelium and surrounding tissue 
uh, to give a chance for the health station to grow and recover these raw areas. Uh, the best time for cauterization is uh, a post menstrual to avoid disturbance of any present pregnancy, to avoid bleeding, and to g give enough time for healing before uh, next menses. The type of cautery is either electrocautery and the communist choose method because it is uh, cheap and available, or cryocautery, but uh, and uh, this leads to freezing uh, for this tissue. And the best uh, method, it is very nice and best method for uh, cauterization, but it is expensive. Uh, we have laser cautery, but it is also expensive. And the chemical cautery with silver nitrate, 10%, but it isn't more used now due to its complications. It may lead to fistulous formation. Uh, before cautery, we have to do uh, visual inspection of acetic acid by a test or take a baby smear and do colposcopy to exclude malignancy. Precaution after cautery, we have to give a systemic broad spectrum antibiotic and avoid intercourse for three weeks and uh, have a local vaginal antiseptic after one week and pass your transound after healing to avoid cervical fibrosis. This is uh, seen by casco speculum. Uh, this is chronic cervicides. It is uh, erosion with the Nepusian follicle here. And this is uh, ectropion with a version of the uh, cervical lip and the sign of chronic cervicides. Here is uh, also chronic cervicides. You can see the Nepusian follicle. Nepusian follicle is the version of the lips which is uh, ectropion. Also, we can see the mucoberlant uh, discharge. Here we can see the Nepusian follicle. This is the cervix seen by uh, the casco speculum, and you can see chronic cervicides. This is Nepusian follicle. Let it out. And this is the cervical polyp. It is sign of chronic cervicides also. This is a very common question. What are the pathological type of chronic cervicides? And here are the uh, here are the C7 type. Uh, you know that chronic specific is a so rare. So we are uh, asking about the upper six mucoberlant endocervicitis with the, the discharge coming, chronic hypertrophic cervicitis with spiral shaped cervix, egg to be or erosion. Cervical ectropion, mucus polyp, apusium folic. 